What's going on, guys? We got the A22 from Fine Fine coming in today. These speakers were sent out to me for review, of course, but they're not seeing it before you guys and gals are not telling me what to say. And if there's anything that well can be approved or I don't like about them, I'll let you guys know about it because, well, that's just how we do it over here at Pew's Review. If you want to support the channel, the links for this stuff, anything I talk about will be in the description below. We appreciate you for that. Let's hop into the video. So the unboxing experience, I'll just throw up a quick speedy B roll up here for you guys and gals. It wasn't anything special. They were packaged well. They were very well protected with the foam around them and stuff. I've kind of starting to uh, see this trend with fine fine they're not they don't put a whole lot into their packaging because they try to put a more i feel like into the product itself which i'm perfectly fine with so you do get the speakers themselves you get a couple cables you get like the usb now these usb cables that are for the speakers they are like they're they're kind of cut a certain way so you kind of got to have a certain usb cable for that uh, you know that kind of eh, but you know it is what it is there. It does come with a 3.5 millimeter cable. This is a two pole, or excuse me, a three pole, I should say, two sleeve cable. Not very long cables, excluding, excuse me, not excluding, but including the USB cables too. So as you get a subwoofer with it and you get two tweeters speakers with it to go on the sides for, you know, more of your highs and stuff like that. These cables aren't that long and I'm kind of disappointed in that, to be honest with you, just because I want to have my sub in the middle and I want to be able to spread my two tweeters out across the desk probably and then kind of bring them up and mount them up a little bit higher that would be my personal preference but i can't do that because these cables aren't just long enough getting my hands on the speakers and stuff at first i will say the subwoofer it was a little heavier than i expected it to be because this packaging it was really small I th that's what she said speaking of design and stuff like that you do have the rgbs on the tweeters themselves i don't are these called tweeters i was just because I, I call these tweeters i'm old school so, you know, I know tweeters are even smaller than these, so uh, probably not the right terminology for them, but that's what I always call them. You had like the subwoofers, you had your mids, and you had your tweeters and stuff like that. I would assume these are tweeters, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I'm getting that wrong or not. But they do have the RGB lights on them. Now, the subwoofer itself doesn't have the RGB lights on it. It's just these right here, which can be controlled by a button on the subwoofer itself as well. And you can go through different cycles and stuff like that, uh, as you can see on screen, which is pretty cool to give a little bit more of an aesthetic pleasing to your eye or whatever you got going on with your gaming setup your pc setup or wherever you're hooking this thing up at so for connection type you do have auxiliary cable you can hook up to as we talked about in the beginning with the unboxing you do have optical as well you have an optical port on the back you can hook up into do that as well you have a headphone port in the back as well so if you want to run headphones out of this for any kind of reason you're able to and it does have bluetooth so you got you got so we got six different buttons on the speaker itself the subwoofer itself to control this if you want to you have your power button of course and then you have your pretty much your pause and play but it's also your input so you can change to your uh, your different connections of hooking it up auxiliary optical and bluetooth of course you have your eq now the eq does have uh, three different modes on it. you have a music mode a movie mode and a game mode and we'll go over the differences between those here in a few minutes you do have your your volume up and your backtrack you just hold the button down to go backwards and you can tap it to take the volume up same thing for the other side to move forward to track you just hold it and then if you want to tap to go down you just tap the button go down and then your rgb lights a button of course and of course you just you can see it on screen you cycle through it or if you don't even want them on you can do that as well there is an option to turn these off so the sound quality out of these speakers themselves they're not bad but they're not like great either in my personal opinion i was okay they're though they're okay and that's just my honest opinion on it the different game and movie and music depending on what you want is going to give you a different sound like i believe it was yeah so if like you want more of like a bassy sound to it just leaving it on music is going to give you that and then if you want more like highs and stuff like that you want to hear more singing with music and stuff like that you would want to go to either game or even movie mode and it'll give you more of like your highs and stuff like that again the sound quality was okay this is tricky for me because on their website it shows 73 dollars. they were selling it on amazon but it's not up there right now i've reached out to my rep he said that they were doing some doing something and it'll be back up eventually you'll see that price point pop up here if it's 
when it's out because I'm probably not going to release this video until it's back on Amazon. So whatever it says right here is what the price is on Amazon. It's okay. I personally believe this speaker set should be between about 50 and $60 if I'm being honest. I wouldn't pay $70 for this system personally myself, but in any case, that's just my opinions. Maybe you have this and you think it's great. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Do you want to see more content or built around speakers and PC parts and stuff like that? This was my first time doing this. They said, hey, can you do it? And I said, sure, why not? I didn't mind doing it for them. But in any case, if you want to see something Fine Fine has done well in the past and continue to do well, it's their mics. Make sure you check out either one of these videos over here with their mics and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.